Good morning, friends. We've had some nice, warm, sunny, beautiful days here in Arizona, but not today. Today, it's overcast, cloudy, kind of chilly, and raining. Let me do a 360 for you. In my last video, when I was talking about whether or not I'm going to continue my YouTube channel, I said that I'd been lax in making videos for the last couple of months. Well, I've been lax in editing. I haven't been lax in taking video. So the next few videos will be catch up. I've got some new toys and I've done some projects and I'm gonna catch you up on what's been going on with Lynn and Jerry in the Arizona desert near Quartzsite, Yuma, Parker, come on. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. I started this video with that gray overcast sky out there in the Arizona desert because I'm going to end this video with the most amazing, beautiful, unbelievable Arizona sunset I've ever seen. And by the way, I forgot I wanted to mention the color of this t-shirt. It is not my color. This green, and I refer to it as terrible green, is Lynn's favorite color and when I was buying some new t-shirts I just grabbed this one thinking I'll wear it for Lynn, it'll make her happy. Today's the day. It, there may never be another day. Jerry, do you have your GoPro on? I have my dash cam on. Or your on. dash cam right on? Yeah. Okay. Fine. Last time I was with you, you were filming and you forgot to turn it off. Oh, I do that all the time. <laughs> I do too. I don't think he can escape. Oh, wait, there he is. The skunk. <laughs> do we want to ask him what it is and why? Huh? Do we want to ask him why? It's a camper. Now, I know you probably don't like attention. <laughs> What's the deal with the funky skunk? It's an art car. An art car. Uh, you're going to be on YouTube. All right. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Brandon. Brandon? Yeah, this is the funky skunk. Love it. Here. One of these days, soon. <laughs> Thanks. An art car. Yeah, thanks for checking it out. What kind of car is that under there, really? Uh, this is the second version. It's a Ford Ranger. It's a John Deere Gator. It's a little bit smaller. And uh, so now it's street legal. And so um, when you get the generator on it, the tail lifts up and the stripes light up and uh, it shoots fog out the back. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Love it. Thanks for checking it out. Thanks. Take care. Hi, friends. Today I took my TV down. It's the big old box and my flat screen TV hangs on these Velcro strips when it's down. And when I come in the door, hi friends, when I come in the door, it's sticking out here and I bump my head on the sharp corner. So today I'm taking this cabinet apart and I'm going to move this all back in there so that it's flush with this part. It'll give me another four and a half inches of headroom when I come in here. It, instead of it being there, it'll be clear back over here. And with the angle, a little farther than that. So, that's what I'm doing today. And it turns into quite the project. There's a few wires to keep track of back here. But all these screws, I hope, is all that's holding it. We'll see. Yeah. 
course, one screw has to be a biache. There's a few screws in there, <laughs> and they're long. And there's still three of them in there holding it up. This could be fun. This is going to be. I think I'm going to need some help. I'm going to go round up some somebody to help me. So what's going on, Chuck? It's all loose except for one screw right here. Okay. As far as I can tell. Oh. So you got all these loose. Yeah, this right. one here pulls out. It stripped and I couldn't get it, but it's already loose. I've had it tipped out. See, he, nothing's hooked up. Right. So you see, uh, watch this screw now. Oh yeah, it's all. There's one screw here and it's already halfway out before I decided to be smarter. I have to kind of get on the stool to get to it. Okay. It's it's pressed in there pretty tight, so I don't know how much. Yeah, I don't, it's not gonna. Just, I'm just gonna. I just but uh, while you get get that it. in there and then get myself out of it. Yeah. Should be loose. I got this in. Yeah, I got this side. Yeah, I'll sit on the floor on a few screws in the seats. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is just saw the back off. Sure. And then remount the back. That's the plan. Alright. That's the plan. Man, give me a call when you want to put yeah, it back Yeah, when we get to put it back up. Yeah. It's always good to have an extra hand. 283. Cherry. Boy, that's a, that's a wire. <laughs> There's a couple, couple of wires to keep track of, huh? But that'll work. Yeah, you come back up here and won't be hitting your head anymore. Yeah. Good. yeah. Well, I thought I'd give you a shot of the before and after, and it's definitely making the difference as I walk in here and have not bumped my head one time since. Lots of dog content today. Going for a walk. Jimmy Olive, Bruce Zoe, Maggie Holly, dog's names. Well, here's some news for you. I went to the hospital. Oh. Hi, Olive. I went to the hospital two days ago. Spent eight hours waiting in the emergency room for tests and stuff. A little uh, infection in my upper intestine and a mild bladder infection, but it was causing some pains that I really wanted to know what was going on. So, walking today, I may not walk as far as everybody else because I'm on some amoxicillin and 
Antibiotics kind of take it out of you sometimes. I but may think he knows where Chuck, where Scott's camp. Where are going? Oh, wait, no, he probably doesn't. Oh, a green and purple bus. Me and Lynn's favorite colors, green and purple. It's kind of a theme in our motorhome. It's purple and we are green and we have purple stuff in there. And our living room at home is green with purple uh, couch, two couches and love seat. Well, we don't call it purple. It's called Amy Blackberry. And we painted the mantle and the mantle shelf Amy Blackberry to match the furniture. Hey, Olive owns a pole. What was it? It was on the toy Ah. Crap, I had the lens cover on. Ever since we left the, down there, when, when we left the group all the way up here a mile to the top and then up the rocky slope and I had the lens cover on. I don't know, Jerry, if you're gonna do a retake, you're gonna have to do it wrong. <laughs> well, I was hoping you would just do it and take my camera. <laughs> no, you missed my big speech about the piece of silver I found. Mica and silica. Oh, so that's kind of where we came up, isn't it? <laughs> no, actually, we came up over there, which is a little better, not a lot. And I noticed that the lens cap was on when I was talking about this saguaro, because I was going to tell you something about saguaros. Do you know why they have all those ribs like that? Why? Because when it gets moisture, well, like when it rains once a year, those things can expand like an accordion. So after the rainy season, you'll see them, they'll kind of be much rounder. And then as the year progresses, the ribs get closer and closer together because they're using up their water. And if you want some water yourself, that's where it is. Hey, we can go that way. Huh? Okay. Wearing my eight liter shoes, feel the rocks like a monkey foot. Very stable, very secure. Soles are stiff enough that the rocks don't hurt. Last time I talked about my eight liter shoes down in Mexico, I sold 53 pairs in two days on my Amazon link. So you're hoping for 100 this time? No, more. <laughs> so, if you're watching my video, use my Amazon link, get some of these A liter shoes. Oh, over there! Yeah, for sure. Okay, so we're going to go down that way. Well, we're not the first people here. Either that or volcano magically piled up some rocks. Look at this. That's the tall skinny one. What is it? Octetio, isn't it? No. You 
put an extra syllable in there. It's octio. Yeah, I know this because I got corrected. Okay. What is this one? What is what one? This. That's a choya. This right here, you know what this is behind us? Uh, no. In English, Palo, Palo Verde. Verde. In Spanish, Palo Verde. The, uh... And that means, you'll, you'll always remember this, Palo is stick or pole, Verde is green. Green stick. Green stick. There you go. Watch that one. Yeah, I do. What was the one that we sent? The two pair? You mean the one I picked up? No, the one that was going to say, watch your step. Oh. I, maybe. It's kind of small to tell. Is that what you got something in your foot? Yeah, I'm afraid so. Hey, do you see that silver spike up there? <laughs> yeah. I wonder what that deal with that is. Run up there and tell me. She okay? Yeah, I think we're good. All right. I'm looking for crystals. You're looking for crystals? Well, here I am at KB Tools, a very dangerous place for my credit card. And as I got into my car, I didn't notice that when I opened the door, I almost smacked Rover in the face. You a big fella. I know, I heard him talking about you in the air. You're over 100 pounds. A nice guy. Thank you for spending the day with me and sharing this wonderful, awesome, incredible Arizona sunset. In my last video, I expressed my concerns and my renewed enthusiasm for working on my YouTube channel and the response I got of overwhelming support was humbling. Thank you. You make this worthwhile for me. If you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.